All right, so what we want to do is we want to try to figure out how many spoonfuls it takes to make one mole worth of vinegar. So I think the first thing that I want to start off with is I'm going to find the molar mass. I think some people call it GFM. I don't like that, but whatever, we can call it GFM if we want. Um, and it's really the molar mass. It's basically telling me how to convert um, the mass of an object or a mass of an element compared to the um, grams of an element. So let's let's kind of pull this up. Um, I'm going to find the molar mass of GH3COOH and that would be what the formula for vinegar is. So let's see, C is um, 12.0107. So I'm just going to call that 12.0 mainly because I know that I have three sig figs here. I know that I have three sig figs here. So there's no point in me finding um, how many more sig figs I have or using any more sig figs than that because you know it's just gonna make me write down more numbers and I'm lazy. Um, the H is 1.007. So I'll put 1.01. And the O is I'll tell you what it, not, it is now I, I know it it's 16 but anyway 15.994 so th that would be great as 16.0 all right so now in order to calculate this out I just need to figure out how many C's I have I have two of them and the H's I have um, four of them and the O's I have two of them so I use my calculator let me see if I can pull up a calculator Calculator accessories. Sorry, I should have pulled this thing up beforehand, but okay. All right, so 12 times 2. Actually, man, I could have done this in my head. All right, 12 times 2, that's 24. 4 times 4, or 1.01 1 .01 times 4 is 4.04. .04. And 16 times 2 is 32. Then I add that all up and I end up getting 24, let's see, 24 plus 4 plus 2, that would be 10, so that would be 0 and 1. Um, I still need my 0 0.04 and then let's see, the 1 plus 2 plus 3, that would be 6. So 60.04, but remember I only keep the smallest, um, the, the least accurate measurement, the least accurate measurement ends at the tens place or the tenths. Place. So I'm going to throw that thing out and I end up getting 60.0. So apparently there are 60.0 grams in one mole of this substance. Now I can take two directions when I have an equal sign because that's the way the conversion factors work. I can either make it 60.0 grams over one mole of vinegar or I can have one mole over 60.0 grams and which one of these I use depends on what I'm trying to convert so we're starting off with they gave us a mass of 5.52 grams of vinegar I'll just put vin over here just so that we know it's vinegar so the conversion that I'm going to use is I'm going to use this one right here because this tells me um, that you know I can take um, the grams on the bottom, which is what I want. So I have, I'm sorry, it's 60. That's horrible. Let me just redo that. All right. So that'd be 60.0 grams of vinegar and is equivalent to one mole of the stuff. And then let's see. So I know that one spoonful worth, which is 5.1. 52 five, grams worth is this many moles because the grams cancel with the grams and then now I actually have to use my calculator so what is 5.52 divided by 60 all right so that's 0 0.092 um, actually I want to keep three sig figs and right now I only see two so I'm going to put an extra zero there and that would be moles of vinegar 
Now, I know that this is actually one spoonful for worth of this stuff is equivalent to 0 0.0920 moles of vinegar. So now I guess the question I want to ask is, um, in one mole of this stuff, how many spoonfuls do I have? So I can, I guess I can go like this. One mole of vinegar converted to spoonfuls, and I need a conversion factor for this. Well, again, you can take two fractions from this equal sign, and so which one am I going to choose? Which fraction am I going to choose? I'm going to choose the one with moles on the bottom, so I have 0 0.0920 moles of vinegar, and that is equivalent to one spoonful of vinegar, and so now I have to ask the calculator, well, what is one divided by 0 0.092 and that's 10.8695 so 10.8695 spoons because again the moles cancel out with the moles and I'm left with spoons as my um, units actually we should probably say, just say spoons of vinegar now, uh, the last step I need to take is to remember to cut down the number of sig figs. And the number of sig figs that I'm dealing with here is 3. So I think that my official answer is 10.9 spoons. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make it even more official, and I'm going to make it go 1.01 or 1.09 times 10 to the first power spoons of and I'm going to write it out via G-A-R. All right. I hope that helps.